Hi everybody, Randy Sherman from Watertown Street Rides. I'm here tonight with uh, Chris Patterson. We're going to try to do uh, some videos of people's cars that are work in progress. A little something to uh, get us by for the winter. So tonight we're here for... What's in my garage? Okay, we're going to start out. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about the car? Uh, it's a 1963 Ford Country Sedan 9 passenger station wagon. Um, it's on the Galaxy chassis. Um, uh, it's got still under original suspension, um, original Ford 9 inch rear end in it. Um, I upgraded to 20 inch rims and tires just to be pimping. Do you know what the gears are? Uh, it's 389 rear gears in it. That's good. That's a good combination. Yeah. Good gas mileage. Is the transmission going to have overdrive in it? No, it's a TH400 built for the drag strip. So we got this cooler right here. And Christopher was just telling me that that's going to be uh, part of uh, the coolant for your intercooler. Yeah, that's going to be the water or ice box for the uh, air water intercooler that we'll get to in a little bit. Pretty neat. The car is really neat. Uh, the patina on it and the color of the car, it kind of acquired the name Toasted Marshmallow. You want to? chime in on that on kind of how that came about? Uh, yep, when I got the car uh, six years ago, uh, it was still powered by the original 289 and it had three speed uh, uh, on the tree. And I took it to the Oxbow Car Show. It was really running rough and everything, but um, one of our other members, Heather Hollenbeck, kind of claimed the name Toasted Marshmallow, saying it looked like a marshmallow that had been toasted and it's kind of stuck. Yeah, it's good, it's a good choice. You said it's a nine passenger wagon. You can see in here it has back seat. Probably two people. Yeah. And then uh, three in the second row. And then I had pulled out the bench seat in the front because it was really rough shape. So it's actually only an eight passenger now. But I still got the bench seat. And. Uh, at some point, I'm sure it'll get reupholstered and put back in. Putting a floor shifter in it? Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah it's a uh, transmission is TH400. Um, it's manual valve body, so it'll have a ratcheting floor shifter in it. It's kind of like Christmas vacation. You can put the mother-in-law up here if you really yeah. had to. Christmas tree and the dog tied to the back. Yeah. <laughs> So front suspension is all the same too? Yeah, everything's stock for right now. Um, after I get motor transmission finished in it, I'm thinking about doing air ride for it. We'll see how that pans out later on. So motor and transmission is not a Ford anymore? Nope, it, it is a six liter LS. Um, twin turbo, uh, twin 78 millimeter turbos, um, VS racing, and uh, intercooled air water intercooler sandwiched in the Holly higher am. Well, let's check this bad boy out. That's pretty neat. All that stuff stuffed right in there. Yeah, still got some more stuff I still got to get in. Um, waiting on parts still to come in. Um, the exhaust is going to come out underneath. The front of it in front of the rear tires. I just got these the other day. I've got to get them cut down, but they're gonna spin around and uh, exit, like I said, right in front of the turbos uh, under the front fender. Um, still got transmission cooler to get in, um, coils put on, uh, plumbing for the antifreeze, and a couple odds and ends. Hopefully, within the next month, I'll do my first firing of it. Did you uh, do anything to the motor, change cam or anything like no, that? No, that's a junkyard six liter. They're good for 30 pounds of boost. We'll, uh, we'll see how good she holds together. Should be all right. Yeah. As long as you don't get too crazy with it. You put the aluminum radiator in? Yes. Four core? Um, it's actually only a two core. Really? Yeah. Hopefully, Hopefully she cools. That's the one that I put in originally with the factory 289 that I had in it. Is it uh, electric water pump? Electric water pump. Got you still need to get electric fan electric for fans. it. 
quick set. Mm -hmm. Odds and ends. Um, turbo is actually over there. I just painted the back side of the casing. That's why it's off right now. So what gave you the idea to uh, to go like this in, in the wagon? Um, just so much fun with the Franklin. Um, just the power it has. Um, I needed it for the wagon. Yeah. Looks pretty good now. The air cooler. Yeah, this is it right here. This silver part here is an air water intercooler. Pretty much just like another radiator. It's sandwiched in between the Holly High Ram. Um, I've still got to do the plumbing for it, but ports on this side, feedback, they'll uh, run underneath to a water pump, and like I said, the cooler over there, the old igloo cooler, will be the ice box slash water box for the intercooler. So what did you have to do for fuel? Did you have to do uh, anything special like uh, high volume electric fuel pump? Yep, yeah, I've got an air mode of um, A1000 fuel pump. Uh, with pre and post filter. Same thing I'm running on my 27 Franklin twin turbo. Um, kind of pretty much mirrored everything I've done with that that's worked. It's pretty good. I like the configuration with the headers and the, and the turbos and that. That was a lot of figuring, head scratching. Um, right in front of Tom is the one of the headers that I pulled off the Franklin. Um, test fitting to see how things were going to work, if it was going to work before I just started throwing parts at it. Um, and of course they wouldn't work with it being confined to the engine bay. It pushed the turbos way out through the radiator. So I had to, I went through and found top mounted headers. Um, I originally had the turbos mounted up there, but it was going to cut too much of the integrity of the hood out. So looked and looked and uh, what I wanted was actually if anybody watches the Dragon Drives, uh, Cletus McFarland, he's got the mullet, it's a El Camino twin turbo and his turbos are actually visible out of the hood and I thought about doing that but it worked so they're tucked underneath. That's good though, that's gonna keep everybody thinking. Mm -hmm. And when you open the hood of the show or, or cruising or something, everybody goes, wow. I'm sure everybody's wondering what this is right here. Um, You're probably seeing this in the background. Why don't you touch base on that a little bit? That's a 1930 Chrysler 77. Um, last on the road in 1956. Um, it's got a straight six cylinder overhead uh, valve in it. Um, that was claimed that the way they came up with the Chrysler 77 is that's what the speed was supposed to be that it could maintain. That was actually a race engine that Chrysler made in the late 20s. Um, top speed on that car in the in 1930 was uh, 90 miles an hour. Now that's kind of Bonnie and Clyde era, right? Yes. Back in the days, no bullet holes though. No bullet holes. No bullet Real holes. solid car. So did it have the original license plate still on it when you got it? No, it didn't. Yeah, it would have been nice to have that. Yeah, for sure. All right, we can pan over here and check this side out. Country sedan. Yeah, and uh, they also made a country square, which was a wood grain version. Oh, yeah. yeah it had the trim instead of the chrome trim, it had a plastic trim that wrapped all the way around, and this part here would have been wood grain. When I was a kid, we had a blue one, probably, a, it was probably a later model, probably in the 70s. It was blue with a wood grain on the side of that. Yeah. Was, I can remember that car. Top of the line for back in that day. We see uh, lots of stuff in here. We see the old gas tanks up here. All the gas cans and stuff. Where do you find that stuff? Uh, a lot of things, marketplace, swap meets. Um, Antique shops, always on the search for something. Pretty nostalgic having all that stuff in here. Yeah, old scooter and the baby carriage. And I didn't see the scooter, that's pretty neat. See the old vice up there in the corner. Yeah. Well, that's good. We'll wrap this up. Thanks a lot for having us, and uh, we're going to try to do this. Uh, more often, we'd like to uh, hit somebody once a week. 
and uh, do a little piece on what's in their garage and and uh, we'll post this up and see how everybody likes it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.